Hey guys, what's up? Fernando Dushan here. Today we talk about uh, making some uh, stash for uh, future gold recovery and uh, recovery other noble metals and maybe some uh, uh, for sale or uh, some other project in future. Okay, now it's winter and uh, in the winter time it's very hard for me to work uh, anything about the gold recovery so I decide uh, for the next couple of months to the summer I will just stockpile everything which I find for a gold recovery and or a silver recovery, platinum, palladium or other stuff and uh, in the meantime uh, seriously you can expect a lot uh, scrap videos uh, and uh, some other type of videos but not the gold recovery uh, today is uh, 6 January, so it's an Orthodox Christmas. Uh, so, uh, some gold recovery video on a big scale uh, you can expect uh, for uh, three, to three to four months. Uh, why I do this? Because uh, I don't want to do any more small gold recoveries, I want to do on the kilograms. And I want to make everything. From the beginning so uh, you see a lot of my gold recovery videos but some of that videos contain very small amount uh, of material 50 gram 100 gram and etc etc and sometimes I don't like to do that on the small scale so right now I will stash everything so for the three to four months I can have a big amount so if I do MLCCs I will do MLCCs on a couple of kilograms. If I do some uh, old type MLCCs, kilograms. If I do IC chips, couple of pounds, uh, BG, couple of pounds of BGA, couple of kilograms of ICs, not just half kilogram or one kilogram. Okay. And uh, why you can expect a lot more scrap videos because right now I'm in the hunt. I search for goldie waste and uh, everything which I find and that item not be already on my channel I will put that on my channel okay guys and I make some other videos but be patient for a couple months a new a way of uh, gold recovery video but for now please understand I need to stash my material to get some serious pile okay so let's see what I do today Okay, so this is the way how I stash all my materials, okay? Because I'm on vacation and I love to work with the electronic waste when I have spare time. Now, today, I stash some stuff for the future projects. So, okay, why bags? Because I think that uh, bags is much better than jars and everything else. Because if you had a two jar, like this one, see that? You always have some free space and uh, of course a free space in a jar. So uh, you need a lot of space to get, I don't know, maybe 50 jar, different jar for uh, 50 different uh, material which you collect. So for me, bag, it's much, much better idea. So what I do, I put that in the bag. I always uh, draw how much it's actually weight. You see that this is the bag of 100 gram, mostly of it, but I got some 21 gram here, some 50 gram here, eight gram here. So, okay, what I do, uh, I collect some decent amount of board. And uh, when I have time, I uh, depopulate that board. And uh, then I uh, all that item separate put in a bag, put in a box, and uh, okay, see that, here I got some very decent amount of, uh, this is the crystal, and, uh, the big one and the small one, and here I got maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, maybe about uh, 3 pound here, very decent amount, uh, I already have it about this, but I in the summer I will do again I hope much better 
video than the two last one. Okay. In here bag I got some I got some crystal oscillators in here bag in this bag 200 gram crystal oscillators here is my tantalum anode from uh, my uh, video about tantalum anode recovery around 100 gram we got some clean MLTTs only MLTTs not junk or anything else. This is a metallic shaped tantalum. I got some ITs. This little two bag, it's a two side leg IT chip, different types. These two bags, it's a four side leg IT chip. Here I got some uh, two side leg fat, normal IT chip, big one. See 83 gram here, and here I got some ceramic ITs, but uh, e proms, but uh, unfortunately not the gold one. Everyone is a silver brace, maybe palladium. So I will do a video about that on summer, of course. Here I got some uh, niobium capacitor. See, just the black square one. This is not the tantalum, this is the tantalum capacitor, the black square one, but they have a plus. So this is a tantalum, this is niobium, okay? And here I got some uh, yellow tantalum capacitor, free bag, half kilogram. I keep this uh, yellow chip because I think that contains some precious metal, silver or palladium, but uh, still I'm not, still I'm not do any video about this but I will and here this is my just my indium some of my clean indium and uh, here I got one little bag with the uh, tantalum different size of tantalum see that different size of shape 60 gram some some chip here some BGA is here and uh, some BGA from the RAM, RAM stick. I, I separate these because this thin ball. I want to do that separately always. And uh, this little bag is actually very useful. Why? Because it's for free and this is, see how I look that bag? It's very nice. You can actually uh, make the bag size of the bag what you need okay and I got even a big one so they, you, uh, you buy that on a meter not uh, just uh, on piece uh, but for me it's the best because I get it for free and now I will show you how actually I made these little bags trust me very fast move so let's start to show you Okay guys, so what we do on the first took back we just shape a one end like this took lighter hit the end and with a finger just squeeze and make a rub there not too much heat because you want, don't want to burn your bag turn around once again just repeat not too much and you already have You already have one end of the back, see that? So I got my scale, a glass, plastic glass. Here in this jar I got some yellow type MLTTs, which I wanna put in the back. So I put that in the scale. Here I got 53 gram.
53 gram took tape I signed 53 gram now put that Tamil CCs in the bag See that? Just cut the bag on the place you want. Put on the table, make a rub on the other side, and like these, and repeat process with the lighter. Be careful, be careful your toes, I have very fat skin because all these years I work with a, like a carpenter. Okay, now see that you got one very good little bag nothing spill and this is very fat bag so they're not open accidentally now just put the weight and you see that it's already done so let's repeat that again Come back make the rub with the lighter side now this time in the second jar I got some blue old type capacitor see that put that on the scale to see how much weight Forty two gram. In the bag. Make a rub with the lighter. See that? 42 gram weight. And you got your bag with your stash, okay? Okay guys, so you see that? Very nice new tool bag with some old type MLCTs wait to be stashed in the cabinet so okay so uh, I want to make a new serial of um, 
Gold Recovery Video, not Gold Recovery, Gold Recovery, Silver Recovery, Palladium and Platinum Recovery and some other maybe metal, but for that I start to stockpile a serious amount of e-waste. And uh, for next couple of months, once again, I'll give you uh, a lot of scrap videos, some uh, search videos, some other stuff, but for Gold Recovery, new videos you can expect for uh, free two, three, four months uh, when the spring came, okay? And uh, be patient, please. Subscribe to my channel, uh, share and like my videos because trust me, that helped me uh, very much to expand my channel and of course, help me with my home budget because uh, I have monetization on my channel. And uh, see you around, guys, for a couple of days.